more than 40 years. Today we're going to look at some Kickstarter gadgets and see if I can find a way to make them better. Final press. This gadget claims to quickly brew a single cup of coffee or tea. Let's see how it works. So I've got some hibiscus tea. I'm going to disassemble the final press. I'll fill it with something that I think is appropriate. Reassemble. Hot water in the cup. And watch the magic. Immerse. I'm only going to give it a few seconds. Let that hibiscus bleed. And let's try plunging. As I press, I can see it getting darker. And hibiscus. I think that worked pretty well. But does it beat out a more traditional infuser? Let's find out. I'm getting some dust particles floating to the top. So that means the screen on the infuser is probably not as fine as the screen on the final press. Aside from the dust particles up top, it looks like hibiscus. Good to go with that. Just something a little unsettling about the fact that I've got so many dust particles sitting at the top of the cup. Let's give the final press a rating for effectiveness. I would say it's effective, and why wouldn't it be? Because it is tea inside a perforated piece of metal. In terms of what it's designed to do, five out of five. So when it comes to brewing coffee or tea, the final press definitely takes the plunge. I would recommend it, yeah, especially if you're into both French press and tea. I would give it a five out of five. I think it's built to last. I'd say it deserves all the press. It and add two teaspoons of my favorite coffee. Add it to a cup of hot water, stir, wait a minute, and stir again. Plunge a few times, and that's it. No coffee filters and no mess. This is my teeny tiny kitchen. And this is my huge pod coffee maker, which I am going to be very happy to get rid of because I now have final press and it's so easy to use. What I've done so far is I have added hot water to my cup. I have put in the final press. I stirred it 15 times. I let it sit for a minute. I stirred it another 30 times. I let it sit for a minute. And now I'm just going to put the plunger down just a few times. And Look at that. I have a wonderful cup of coffee. I think it's better than my pot. Really a very nice quality little device. Very smooth plunger mechanism. And every, everything about it is just, uh, feels like it's, like more refined. I wouldn't call it robust. I would call it more refined, but it's a really good quality. Everything works smoothly. And I like that, uh, you know, all of the, uh, uh, the brewing time is going to be with a, a basket that is all metal versus uh, brewing in you know, I think some of the competitors out there are different types of technology. They're using plastic. And I don't like uh, brewing in plastics personally. So this uh, brews in this metal basket. And then you have the little French press action. So you take it out. So a little mobile French press. Really, really nicely done. Love this little unit.